Hi there besties. Thank you for coming by the channel. My name is Gigi and it's shitty Netflix movie reviews day. Yay! The movie I actually picked, picked this week was really not that shitty. It's called The Gollum. Um, and again, I don't really know if it was made by Netflix or not. I just see a movie on Netflix. It's in the horror genre and I pick it. Uh, this week we uh, in the Gollum you're centered on a village of Jewish people who from what I can tell live in Russia during the time of the plague and really that just informs the entire reason for everything happening in the movie as you move forward at the very opening of the movie you see um, a, a Jewish man who is asking a creature to open its mouth and there's a little girl walking up behind him and she picks up a shard of glass and she witnesses everything that happens from there and you don't really understand exactly what you're seeing but it all comes together later on in the movie there's a lot of moments where you get that moment of, oh, that's why, that's why whatever character did whatever they did, because there's a lot of motivations from the characters in the movie and, and reasons why they do the things they do. Um, I am gonna deviate away from giving a blow by blow description of this movie because it is quite good. It is not so great and amazing that it's going to be on my list that I watch all the time. But I could definitely see myself revisiting this film. It is enjoyable. The acting is good. The writing is really tight. Um, there's not a lot of moments where you're like, oh, well, I could have lived without that. There's a couple of places where the gore is a little unnecessarily spectacular. Um, because it's unbelievably spectacular, but you know, that's sort of the, the, the way that horror has been going lately is just big splashy blood. And you do see that a few times in the movie. If you're just looking for a nice little horror film that tells a tight little story and gets you involved with the characters right away, go watch The Gollum. It is really well told. Um... So just to give you a basic overview, what's happening in the in the story is you you see this woman. She uh, her name is Anna, and she is at a doctor's office. A uh, doctor's office? No, she is at the healer's house. There's no doctor's office in the village. Okay, I'm, I'm saying that incorrectly. She's at the healer's house, and the healer has her sitting in her chair with her legs up like this, and she pours something from a little vial, vial onto a cloth and rubs it on her area and says we're done and then later on before you you see Hannah have sex with her husband she also performs that so you get right away she's preventing pregnancy her husband comes to bed they have incredibly wooden sex he prays at the end of it that they have a child she says amen and she gets up to study study which is prohibited to her as a woman but her husband loves her and he gets her the books anyway um from here things start getting pretty crazy they are at a wedding it's one two of the people in the village are getting married and during the ceremony a group of people come walking up one of them is wearing a plague doctor's mask and if you know what that is it's like a leather mask with a long nose and in the nose they would stuff it full of herbs and flowers hopefully to keep the plague away from them because they didn't really understand where disease comes from back in those days so there was just no way for them to understand how to take care of the plague which is really oh my goodness oh wow that came over me so crazy fast i didn't even know um whoa so anyway um they they didn't know so they had these plague doctors which really were nothing more or less than just for the most part 
snake oil salesmen. They did. They weren't real doctors. They had no training. They were just killing people with their ineptitude. Uh, so, one of these plague doctors is walking into the village carrying a child, and she clearly has plague. She's got the lesions. You can hear her wheezing. And when I first saw them, I thought maybe she was dead, and maybe she was someone who belonged to the village. But it's the plague doctor's daughter and he pushes they he has two of his people uh throw everything that's on the table there's a big feast on the table and they throw everything down and um he puts the child on there and he comes forward in front of the table takes his mask off and tells them i know that the reason that everyone in my village is dying is because of you and your witchery and your spells and your evilness and we you are going to fix my daughter now or I, we are going to kill everyone in your village so the healer comes forward she's like bring the child to my house we will do what we can and from here sets into motion everything that happens in the movie all of the reasons for for the golem being summoned and um, I don't want to go too much into it, guys. Honestly, I don't. This movie is good. It's really fun to watch. It's really interesting. The characters are just developed enough to make you really care about them. They don't, you know, you, not all of them, of course, but the, the main ones, especially the girl, the woman, Hannah, the girl, the woman, Hannah, you you always are wondering about her motivation, which eventually is revealed. So, Jacob, we're going to go in just a minute, baby. Hold on. Jake is being impatient. I think he, I swear he reads my mind and he knows what we're going to do before we're going to do it. And something's about to happen when I get done with this video. So, wow, seven minutes. I thought this had been a super short video. So, in a nutshell, the Gollum really 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 good if i'm gonna give it a scale on our shitty movies uh one to five uh rating system i'm gonna go ahead and give it a four it is a pretty pretty decent movie i would go ahead and for a shitty movie i'm gonna give it a four and a half go ahead and watch the golem really really good on netflix right now highly recommend it Thanks again for coming by. Be sure to stop by next week for another shitty horror movie review. And you know what? I vlog all kinds of stuff all the time, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those. Talk to you later.